Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo how to upset records in Salesforce using Salesforce Connector. Absurd method of Salesforce Connector update the record if record already exists in Salesforce. If record does not exist in Salesforce, then upset method create a new record in Salesforce. To determine if record present in the Salesforce or not, we need to specify external ID custom field in upset method of Salesforce connector. I will switch to any point of studio now. I will create a new mule project. File new mule project. I will give the name absurd records to Salesforce. I will click finish. I will drag HTTP listener. I will add connector configuration. I will keep this configuration value to default. I will give the path slash absurd. Now I will add Salesforce connected to the project. I will click add module. Click Salesforce and drag it here. I will keep the version 10.13.3. Click add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find the Salesforce connector in your pilot, then you might need to import the Salesforce connector from the exchange. I have already created a video on how to import module from exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in description. Now I will drag the absurd method inside the flow. I will add the Salesforce connector configuration. Click plus sign. For communication with Salesforce, we need to provide authentication options. And these are the options available for uh, authentication with the Salesforce. In this demo, I will use basic authentication. For basic authentication, we need username, password, and security token. To get the username, password, and security token, we need to create a developer's account in Salesforce. So we can go to this link and we can create a developer account in Salesforce. I have already created a developer account in Salesforce and I got the username, security token, and password. I will use the username and token in the connector configuration. I will copy the username. Pasted here. Go back. Now I will copy the security token and copy here. Now I will enter password. Click OK. Now we need to specify the type where we want to upset the record. I will select account because I want to upset account records. Here we need to specify external ID field name. So I will log into the Salesforce and I will create this external ID there. I will enter my username and password. Click login. I will search for account object. Click account. 
click fields and relationship here i will add a new field click new for data type i will select text click next i will give the field label account txt id i will specify line 25 i will check the external id check box click next click next click save our external id custom field has been created we'll copy the field name go back to studio copy the external id field name now i need a transform message component i will change the format type to json now i will save the project right click run the project this project will be deployed inside embedded runtime in any point studio while this project is being deployed i will go to the postman okay this project has been already deployed i will go to the postman here i will invoke the resource our resource name is absurd you will use the post method body select raw text click the json format now we need to send the request payload for absurd resource i have already created the request payload i will copy it from the notepad so here are the record that i am going to absurd i will copy this payload go to postman so i'm going to remove two records out of here in first call we will send these two records an absurd method will insert these records because they does not exist in salesforce i will go back to salesforce go to service click account change the view list new this week i will refresh the records so from postman we are sending mike and john account number 5550 and 6550 and these record does not exist here i'll go back to postman click send i 
unknown description. So we have some issue. Let's go to the console. There is some error invalid input. Okay, there is some error related to custom field. Go back to payload. So our custom field name is wrong. We need to provide correct custom field name. I will go to the Salesforce. I will go to setup. I will search account. I will click account. I will click the fields and relationship. And here is the custom field name that we provided. I will copy this. I will copy first here in notepad. I will change in all four records. Now I will copy this payload. Go to Postman. And paste it here. Now I will send only two record first. So we are sending external ID, account external ID 100, and account external ID 200, and account number 5550, name Mike, and account number 6550, name John. I will click send button now. Okay, we got the response. First one is successful. Second one successful. Let's see if it is created or updated. So create is true. And for this record also, create is true. So both record created, they got inserted because they were not exist in Salesforce. Now let's go back to Salesforce. Go back to service. Click account. Okay, we need to change the view list. New this week. Okay, we are not seeing our records. Let's check the filter. Edit list filter. Okay, we have filter start with T. I have to remove this filter. Now I will add one more filter. Account external ID. I will say contains and I will provide these values 5550, 6550, 7550, and 8550. So we can properly see the record. Click save, refresh. Okay, we didn't get any record. I need to check the filter again. Here we have given the wrong field name. We have to give account number because we are providing account number. So I will copy here. 5550. First, I will copy four times. I will change first eight, then seven, then six, and then five is already there. And I will change from equal to contents, account number, click done, click save. 
So we got our records. So we supposed to provide this account number in the filter because here in the payload, this uh, account number we have 5550, 6550, and 7550, and 8550. So these records has been created. The name is Mike and John. Then we are setting the city Mumbai and Pune, state Maharashtra, and these are the phone number. And the annual revenue is 25,000 and 99,000. That's what we are sending. 25,000, 95,000, Pune, Maharashtra, Mumbai, Maharashtra. Mike and John. That's what we send it. We send it top two records there. Now I will send all four records. So these two records are already there in the Salesforce. So these will be updated. And these records are new. So they will be created. So we will send this request in Postman and we will observe the response. Let me update the revenue as well. Let's make this 101,000 and make this 26,000. I will copy again. Control C. Go back to Postman. Control V. So now we have Mike, John for update, Paul and Roger, this should be created new. I will click send button. Now we will observe the response. So created is false because first record we send it, that is update, not created, is not inserted and successful is true. Second one created false, successful true because second one is also update. Third one is created new because does not exist in Salesforce. Successful true. And fourth one created true because record does not exist in Salesforce. So it will be inserted and successful true. Now let's go back to Salesforce. Refresh the list. We got all the records. 5550, 6550, 7550, 8550. And we have Mike, John, Paul, and Roser. And these are the respected cities. And these are the states, numbers. And we updated the annual revenue 26,000 and 101,000. And here we have 34 and 89. So that's what we have 89, 34. And uh, cities from Kochi, Kerala, Bangalore, Karnataka, Pune, Maharashtra. These are already inserted one these are the new so this is how we can use the upsert method of salesforce connector to upsert the record in salesforce if record is new it will be inserted if record already exists it will be updated i hope you understood the concept if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.